Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today I'll be introducing the robot that we will be spending the next couple weeks building, debugging, and analyzing. Here we have all the parts for our robot. Over on your left, we have our robot's main chassis along with its drivetrain already pre-installed. Then we have the main control of the robot along with the Wi-Fi board, which is all used to remotely control the instrument itself. And within this, we're going to do some serial decode testing to confirm that both boards are interacting properly. And we'll be doing this with an oscilloscope. Then we have two sets of antennas meant for Wi-Fi. So we'll have to determine which set will give us the best distance on them, and we'll be doing that with the spectrum analyzer. Then we have a couple stepper motors here to control the camera for our robot, which will do some oscilloscope testing on the, on the stepper motors to determine how they work and recreate that with a generator. Then we have our ultrasonic sensor and our infrared sensor. Both of these will confirm that how their distance operation is working, to, which will basically help prevent the robot from running into different things. And we'll be doing that with an oscilloscope. Then we have our battery over here, which we'll be doing some battery testing on to determine how long it will be able to operate and fully function with the robot itself. And we'll be doing that with an electronic load, power supply, oscilloscope, and a current probe. And then we have various parts and accessories, which will allow us to put the whole thing together. And once it's all built, we're then going to be doing some EMI and EMC testing to see if we can help reduce radiated emissions. Throughout building this robot, we will be using an oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, power supply, electronic load, waveform generator, current probe, near-field probes, and VisWar bridge. When we have completed our testing, we will have a fully functional remote-controlled robot. 